Hi, I'm Oli Bassett, midfielder for Atletico Ottawa. I'm Christian Jack from the Canadian Premier League, and it's time for a segment we're calling Bassett's, Bassett's All Sorts. Sorts. All right, Ollie, time for Bassett's All Sorts, where we're going to dive into your bag of tricks and look at some of the quality of plays from you over the last couple of seasons in the Canadian Premier League, what makes you great. Uh, I want to talk first about goals in the box, in particular the runs on the right-hand side. We're going to start with a play here where you made the run into the box. Let's break this down. What did you see here when you played this pass? No, so I just saw, you know, when the ball gets cut back from Assi, um, just kind of out in my, the corner of my eye, geez, kind of free on the edge of the box, um, you know, in, in, in like a yard of space or so. Um, so yeah, I just kind of played it to his feet and continued my run and, you know, I think he, he did well to pick his head up and, and find me. One year almost to the day mm -hmm. after you scored a very similar goal at Tim Hortons Field, which is almost identical. Let's play that whack to you on the right-hand side. Again, very similar. You pick up the ball here in space. You've made a little bit of a habit of pay, pay, making that space. This is a 1-2 with Balu Tabla. Terrific move by both of you. Again, talk us through this. When do you start believing that you can strike this or are you just trying to get behind the defenders? Yeah, I think it was very similar to the one uh, from this season. Um, I think when Balu kind of slipped me in initially, I'm probably thinking for for the cutback, uh, for the midfielder maybe on the edge of the box, or, okay. or kind of the striker that, that peels off. But so in your brain, sorry to interrupt, you're already thinking maybe I have to cross this, but then do you have a peripheral vision? Like how do you anticipate? Because you're talking like margins of seconds here very, very quickly that you have to look over and think about shoot or pass. Yeah, I think on this one, I was kind of anticipating someone to like step to me to, to block that shot. Right. Um, and I think when no one kind of stepped to me and the keeper kind of stayed um, on the line, um, I think it was then that, you know, I think the cutback was probably going to get intercepted. So it was just kind of a case of trying to finish the action and then, you know, going for the far post. Let's look at Bassett's all sorts, some of your tricks. I want to talk about shots from outside the box. And I'm going way back. I'm going back to your first ever CPL game in the bubble uh, for Pacific. What was this like when you look back at this? Yeah, this was, this was a nice one, I think. Um, I think at the time, I didn't think I hit it that well. But then watching it back, I think it looked kind of a lot better than, than it felt. It's a great strike, you know, real, that. Yeah, real time. Like, um, is, it, is it laces through the ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of laces. Um, I think it's one of them where it sits up so nicely and as soon as you hit it, you know, it's got a chance of, of going in. And it's again, it's like trying to, you know, finish the action. If the ball goes, you know, wide or, or over for a goal kick, you kind of reset yeah. um, instead of losing the ball on the edge of their box and then having to deal with a counter. So yeah, it was kind of my first touch, kind of set it up nicely. and. Yeah, I just try to put my laces through and hit with as, as much power as I can. I put this one in, and I know you, a lot of the goals have, been, have, have come in wins, but this one, you, yeah. you're 3 0 down, so it's a little bit different. But what I put this in for is because I see the way that you strike the ball, and I want to know if you've worked on it. Because this one, you definitely, you know, this is Gazdov in there, mm. you, you've definitely confused him there. So talk to me a little bit about the strike and what you're working on in training to allow you to get to that point where you're striking the ball. Yeah, I think it's just one of them, you know, you hit it with. You know, a bit of power when you try and get, um, I don't know what they call it, a bit of movement on the ball. Yeah. Um, to kind of start it maybe at the keeper and then for it to to go away from, from him at the at the last second. So, yeah, it was one of them, you know, edge of the box, um, kind of 3-0 down at home in the 50th minute. So, Have a go. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was worth a strike. This is another one. This is against Halifax. This is another shot from distance. But I want to talk about you arriving late. Is that something you're working on as the defenders all drop in and then you suddenly arrive late for a chance like this? Yeah, I think so. I think it's one of them, you know, over the last few years when you um, when you play a lot more games and you get, you know, a little bit more experience. It's one of them where if you kind of follow the play up, you know, too fast, you're probably on the edge of the box marked. Um, you got a nice space yeah, there. Yeah, and, comes and in. not ready for the cutback. So I think it's one of them you just time your run and yeah, it's just edge of the box, first touch, and then, you know, just, just strike it. You're, you're just inside the box, and, you know, I think anywhere in and around the 18, um, as a midfielder, you should, you know, look to get as many shots off as possible. Modest as ever, you say you just strike it, but this is a phenomenal goal, by the way. Look, if we're going to pause it right there, I want to pause it just as you're about to take that shot. It looks nowhere near how you're going to be able to hit that from the side angle, but your ability to find it, you, you know, you've not just hit that and hoped that, have you? You've aimed that into that corner, knowing that position, but being able to what you can see. Yeah, I think so. I think the keeper as well was kind of um, covering the near post. Yeah. So I think the only real, um, you know, way to, to get it past him is to go um, far post. And 
yeah, I was lucky just to get it off just in time um, as the, the defenders coming back to, to try and block it. Uh, let's go back to Calgary, Alberta. Last season, to, uh, tw near the end of the game in 2022, this is one of my favourites, I have to say. You know, you know, point you out there in the middle then, as usual, you guys have just won the ball back. And then talk to me about transitions and what goes through your mind in these situations. Yeah, I think these, you know, as a team last year, we were very good in um, transition and it's something that we've, you know, we, we've been okay at as well this year. But, you know, I think as soon as um, they get the ball in the middle of the park and kind of the ball goes wide um, out to Carl, um, it's just, I think it's just a question of kind of desire and then putting yourself in an area where you can, mm -hmm. you know, score. This one again, this is earlier this season. And again, this is a game, I think this, this could be a pivotal moment for you and your season in 2023. It's nil-nil, you've had a lot of the ball, there's a lot of pressure, results are not going your way, you're playing Halifax, and then suddenly a long ball comes in, you talk about getting midfielders making the run. You were carrying the team on this game and the desire that you showed in this, what, talk us through what you see from here in this position and getting into that box. Yeah, I think it was the same as the, similar to the Calgary one, I think, you know, Malcolm's the lone striker, um, and I don't think there's really much else he can do other than, you know, take a shot. And I think I'm just kind of gambling on the fact that the keeper's going to spill it or, or not hold it. And, you know, I think I could just try to anticipate where the ball was going to drop. One more in your bag of tricks from this. And I love this, but this is an assist for mm -hmm. Noah. But this again is about desire. You use the word anticipate there. And I think that's an underrated word in the game of football sometimes is you're seeing things before they develop. Mm -hmm. What do you see in, in this one? And what do you like about this one? Yeah, I like this. I like this goal. I think me and Noah have, have spoken about this one, you know, a few times. I think when the ball gets cleared from the edge of the box, it's kind of just knowing that if you get the ball, if you take that first touch around the defender, then you know you have a good chance for a counter attack. But you know, I think I travel the, uh, sorry, carry the ball um, quite well up the pitch. But you know, I think the run from Noah and then also from G. Um, I think if you play a three, you'll see G. If, if Noah's not there, on the left hand then, side, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. If Noah's not there, then you know I think Gianni's there to score as well. So right, yeah, it was just about trying to put the ball in an area where it gives him you know an easy chance to finish, and you know I think he took that goal really well. But it's a great strike. Yeah, I think it was three players that just had the desire to to score, and like I said, you know that was to make it three 0 All right, next one in the basket, it's all sorts. I want to talk to you about set pieces. Now you got to be honest with me on the next one. It's the Olympico, and it's in Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. Did you mean it? Um. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I, no, I didn't mean to, I wouldn't say I meant to shoot, but I think something that Put it I, in a dangerous area, yeah, fair? Yeah, 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 okay. certainly. Fair. I think, you know, I think if you're trying to score from a corner, that's, that's, a bit, that's a bit outrageous sometimes. But I think just putting it in an area where, you know, you either put it on the goalkeeper yeah. and he parries it and then someone has a tap in or yeah. you kind of just, I've been working a lot in training on trying to get my corners in between the frame of the goal. Okay. Um, for someone to run across and just a, maybe a glancing header or or putting it on the goalkeeper and you know hopefully you know get him to make a mistake. You, you're doing the shushy celebration again there, mate. But yeah, but, the no, the, Are they giving you stick as well? Yeah, they all do. <laughs> they all do. The Vala fans. Um, They're not having Ali Bassett. No, no, no. Even back from Pacific. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so it does go. Um, so you got a long memory for these fans. Is what you're telling me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I love it because like they, they lift you up like you're a king and you're still shocking. <laughs> That's funny. All right, <laughs> let's carry on set pieces. This is penalties. Um, have you always been a penalty taker? Um, As a kid, confident from the spot. Yeah, I've been confident. Yeah, yeah. I think there's always been players that um, in teams have taken them ahead of me, um, especially right. the strikers. Right. Um, but I think last year I tried to you know take on that kind of responsibility. Um, and yeah, I think when the first one went in, um, I think the first one was against Edmonton away. Yeah. I think from then it was very much um, kind of going into every game, confident that if we got a, you know a kick from the spot, that you know I'd be able to convert. And this was a big one. The outcome in the end didn't work out for you, but Canadian Championship quarterfinal in Hamilton, mm -hmm. down one nil, 89th minute. Uh, you were struggling as a team at the time yeah. as well. You played well in the game, yeah, to be yeah, fair. Yeah. What what's going through your mind here? This is a big moment. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's a big moment, but I think it's just, it's a, it's a kick from 12 yards, you know. Right. I think percentage-wise, the, the attack is always going to be, you know, um, at a higher chance to score. And yeah, I think this one was just kind of a case of, you know, going for power um, and, and keeping it low and then, you know, making the, the keeper kind of, you know, guess the right way. But I think if it's hit with enough power, it can, 
it, it has a chance to go in always. So yeah, I think that's what I was thinking at that moment. Lots of highs. I'm not going to end on a low. We'll, hand, we'll end on a high, but I want to show you this one as well. Minutes later, you get to take the one in the shootout and then you get this and you, you were shocked, no? Because the way you hit it, you thought it was in. Yeah, I, this I is remember, in the shootout. It wasn't a clean. I don't think it was actually a clean, um, a clean strike. I think I kind of miss, um, lost my foot in a little bit okay. as I was running up. But you know, it hits the inside of the post, and it's one of them where on another day it can kind of roll across the Rolling. line and go in. You know, but yeah, I didn't want to go in that day. All right, last one to end on is this. A couple of plays I'll put this on for you is last year award show, players player of the year and player of the year. When you look back at this, what do you think? Yeah, this one, yeah, this was this was nice, you know, I think um, kind of the year before Pacific, I was, you know, rotated in and out of the team a lot. Um, and then I think I came in, you know, this year just with a mindset of, you know, playing as many games as possible. Um, and to win, you know, the, the, the two awards um, was, you know, a fantastic feeling, um, especially the one that, you know, your, your peers kind of vote you yeah. for. Um, I think to be recognised by the players that you play against, you know, week in, week out was, was, yeah, it was really nice, and it was um, it was a nice way to end the season. Yeah, on a on a personal level, just from where I've come from over the last few years, um, playing semi-professional to then you know um, winning the awards like I did last year was yeah, it was a nice feeling. First ever Players Player of the Year winner forever. The league's yeah. gonna be around for a long time, yeah. and you're gonna be the first ever winner. That's pretty special, mate. Right? No, you know what else is pretty special? Uh, that's it's all sauce. Pretty special. <laughs> All right, Ollie, that was amazing. Great to look through yeah. your plays. The only thing left really is to have some sweets. I'm sure Carlos isn't gonna <laughs> let you have any sweets, but uh, Bassett's all sorts. Bertie Bassett, I heard a small, a small story. That was your nickname, was it? Yeah, Bertie my Bassett. Dad, my dad as well, yeah. Bertie Bassett, yeah. there you go. Yeah. So it's time for us some licorice. Thanks for this, and thanks for showing us <laughs> no, your shows, okay, your, your thank plays. You so Always Thank a you pleasure. So much. I appreciate it, thank you.